Speaking on the theme, the pharmacist for national development, businessman and chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Dr. Sam Jonah emphasized the importance of speaking out against wrongs and assisting in achieving national development goals. The executive chairman of Jonah Capital, an equity fund based in Johannesburg, South Africa, urged Ghanaians to take action against injustices and work towards a more prosperous nation. We are where we are, ladies and gentlemen, but the health of our nation is not what you want it to be. Nice in the places, the system that must work together to ensure awareness are not functioning as expected, as expected. And as a result, our values are under siege. Confidence in key institutions are on the decline. Checks and balances, which are desperately needed for the progress of any nation, are seriously compromised. Corruption and greed have eaten deep into the fabric of our nation. The former CEO of the then Ashanti Goldfields Corporation questioned why the Minerals Commission seems powerless to combat illegal money arguing that the fight against it is not about the availability of laws but the willingness to enforce them. I am not against small scale mining. What I am against is the manner in which the laws of the country are flattered with impunity to destroy water bodies and the soils and the environment for the many so that just a few can make money. Illegal mining is not about the lack of laws. It's about the will to want to enforce the laws. The law is very clear. You cannot mine within a certain distance proximity of a water body. The law is very clear about how you dispose of your waste from your mining activities. He urged pharmacists to integrate new technologies into indigenous health and knowledge systems aiming to produce world-class pharmaceutical output given Africa's small global pharmaceutical market share and the need to transcend traditional roles. The Pharmacist Society of Ghana must speak up with clarity engage the general public, local investors, and government. The entrepreneurial and risk aggressive among you must move decisively to form partnerships with established foreign companies for the purpose of acquiring much technology equity through foreign direct investment. 